Colin's been cleared. The charges against him for assaulting Josh Lewis have been dropped. You don't believe me? Be my guest. Use the phone. Call the DA's office. They will confirm exactly what I just told you. Alex, before you go on anymore... No, no, no. You stop right there, will you please? This is my home. This is my home. You really don't have any right to come barging in here, and I will not allow you to arrest my brother here in this house. Final. We're not after your brother. Well, then what? We're looking for Reva. Reva? Well, silly old me, but aren't you in the wrong house? We were holding Josh and Reva at the police station. Somehow, Reva slipped away, and uh, we have reason to believe that she's here. Here? Why? It's a long story. Josh and Reva claim that... Annie Dutton is very much alive and well and has been masquerading around as Terry DeMarco. What if Annie Dutton is alive? I mean, that despicable woman ruined my brother's... She's alive? I didn't say that. That's what the Lewises are claiming. And if you haven't noticed lately, they've been behaving very erratically. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Lena's always been a couple of cards short of a deck anyway. But what has this got to do with Alan? Reva claims that Alan is helping Annie. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to your brother and warn him. Is he here? Well, wait, wait, wait right there. I will go and find him. Dear God, Alan, please don't do this to yourself again. Alan, you're better than this. We go back a long way, and we've been through so much together, so many ups and downs. And you're better than this. Give Annie up. Not because I'm asking you to, but because you should do it for yourself, Alan. Do it for yourself. Alan? The police are downstairs. They'd like to talk to both of you. All right, Alex. I will go and talk with the police. Question him and then we'll get some answers and all. Thank God you're here. Weaver, you are in serious trouble. You know trouble. what? It's all going to be worth it once you hear what Alan just told me. Alan? What is she talking about? Well, go on. Tell him what you just told me, Alan. Well. He knows where Annie is. And she's not in any coma. What about that, Alan? Well, this is hard for, for me to say, but uh, I'm not for sure where to start. Well, you know what? Let's try from the top. It's very difficult. To turn someone in whom I've cared about, I've been very close to over the years. But Reva, this time you've gone too far. What? I'm sorry, Reva. I know you and I have a long history, and that's why this is so hard. But I feel like I must do this for your mental state and also for the safety of your family. What the hell are you talking about? Frank, Reva broke into my house, assaulted me in the hallway, and was ranting and raving like a classic Paranoid. Classic paranoid. Alan, Alan sent Annie away. I mean, Annie may be brain dead, but she's not dead dead. Alan told me that he helped her. He admitted it to me. All right, Alan, is any of this true? Reva, what has happened? What oh, has you know happened? what? Knock it off. That's not going to fly. He said he put her somewhere where she will never be hurt again. I told you nothing the like that. The wicked witch who has two faces is still alive. You know your delusions are causing you to be dangerous to yourself. Would you give him a lie detector test, please? Let me feed him the questions. Because he knows where she is yes, right now. Yes, I do know where Annie is. What would you tell All me? All of Springfield knows where Annie is. She is dead, Reva. She has been gone for months. And you have been going around this town spewing hatred. And it's called a a lot of destruction. You can say that again. Oh, Frank, don't tell me you're buying this. Frank, I don't want to do this, but if you want me to come to the station and press charges, I'll be glad to do so. Anything to keep Reva from hurting herself or anyone else. Alan is involved with Annie Dutton. I mean, think about it, Frank. There's no way Annie could have gotten that body into that apartment all by herself. What body? You know damn well what body you put it there. What body? What? Where, what is she babbling about? Terry DeMarco's in a coma. In a coma? What happened? Well, it seems that Josh and Reva paid her an unexpected visit. Well, Reva, this time you have gone too far because you know that I cared about Terry DeMarco. Which hospital is she in, Frank? Alan, no, just got... wait a minute. Let's get to the bottom of this. You know, you've done some despicable things in your life, but this one I do not understand at all, Reva. I mean, she did nothing to you. 
That's because Terry DeMarco's been in a coma. She's been that way since Annie Dutton decided to borrow her face. So Josh assaults her, and you make her permanently disabled. I Is that it? I didn't do anything to Terry DeMarco. You break into my house, you assault me, you ran and rave about some, some dead woman. When is all of this going to stop, I huh? I know that I sound crazy, and the more I try to explain myself, the more I sound like a prime candidate for a rubber room. You've got to understand, Annie trusted Alan. She went to him. She went to him, and he helped her. Okay, that's fine, Reba. Then where is Annie now? Somewhere where we'll never find her. Isn't that what you said, Alan? I will not even dignify that with an answer. Reba. Okay, you know, that's fine. I, I've heard enough for tonight. I'm taking Reba down to the police station. You don't have to worry about her anymore. Just make sure that she gets help, Frank. Let's go. You may think you've won, Alan, but you're the biggest loser in this room because you're stuck with her for better or worse. And it's gonna get worse, believe me, much worse. She's yours for the rest of your miserable life and I can't think of a more fitting punishment on earth. Well, we seem to have rats in the attic.